Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I have a Lenovo laptop here. I'm going to show you how to address the following errors. Uh, they're all kind of the same thing. You have the bad checksum error, RTC battery low error, uh, 0251 error, and then you have the set date and time error. So all these errors are kind of telling you the same thing, that something's wrong with the date and time settings in BIOS. Um, so today I'm going to show you how, how to get in there. If you have any questions or comments, check out the frequently asked questions first. It could save you some time getting an answer right away. If you don't see your question there and you need to leave me a comment, I do try to get back to you a, a few times a day at least. Uh, so now I'll show you how to, how to get into BIOS to address those settings. So I'm going to hit power, start tapping on F2. Uh, depending on what model computer you have, that BIOS key, F2, could be different. Lenovo likes switching its, its, its keys around. So I've heard of it being F1, F9, F10, 11, F12. Um, check your function keys if, if one's not working, uh, but you're looking for your BIOS. Um, and when you get to BIOS, you're gonna tab, arrow, you're gonna look for your system date and time setting. So I don't see it on the information tab. I'm gonna go right over to configuration, and there it is. System date, system time. So just double check that those are correct. If they're not correct, then adjust them, uh, save and exit, and then your computer will start up. So that's how you would correct those errors. That's how you would co uh, correct your date and time settings in BIOS. Um, if you find that you have to do this a lot, or if you're still getting this error, and every time you have to go back in, your date and time settings are wrong, that could show that your CMOS battery is starting to go bad. Um, if that's the case, look below in the description, there'll be a video on how to perform a BIOS reset on a Lenovo computer. Uh, that video will show you how to access that CMOS battery so that you can replace it. So if you have any questions or comments, again, check the FAQs below, leave me a comment if yours isn't there. I get back to you a few times a day at least. Uh, like and share if it was helpful, and uh, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks so much, guys.